Hey everyone! Today I'm here with two of my beautiful reborn baby girls. This is Faith and this is Laylin. And both of these babies have something in common. They have these types of birthmarks called port wine stains. And today I'm going to be showing you guys their port wine stains. Um, this little girl has a lot of them. And how adorable does she look in this dress? This has to be my favorite outfit I've ever put on her. But she has a lot of port wine stain birthmarks. And this little girl only has one. And you can see it right there. And I will show you guys a close-up of them in just a minute. But I myself have a port wine stain birthmark. And it's very noticeable. So in a lot of my videos, people see it and they comment the craziest things. Thinking that it's um, a really nasty bad rash or a really bad burn. And there's a few other things they think as well. Um, people come to the weirdest assumptions about... Um, just a birthmark, but these birthmarks are pretty rare compared to just regular birthmarks and that's why a lot of people don't know what they are or what causes them. And even when I show these two babies on camera, a lot of people ask me, what's that red mark on the baby? Um, what's wrong with it? I get that all the time. What's wrong with the baby? So I thought I'd talk a little bit about port wine stains today, what they are, and like I said, show you guys these little girls' um, port wine stains. So like I said, port wine stains are a type of birthmark, but they are caused when um, you are still developing as a baby, before you're even born. I don't think they've figured out exactly what causes it yet, but it's some type of change um, in your genes that causes these blood vessels to be close to the surface of your skin and to be very big blood vessels. So that's why the birthmarks appear very red or purple sometimes. So when they're a baby, um, they look usually a lot different than when you're an adult. So um, when I was really little, looking at like pictures of me with my port wine stain, it looked quite a bit lighter. And now it's a lot darker, a lot more red, and when I get cold, it turns purple. So that's very interesting. And a lot of people, when I got in public, they just stare at me because they have no idea what it is. And like I said, it's very noticeable. I will insert a picture here. Only three in 1,000 people are born with port wine stains. And it's not something that you can prevent or anything like that. Port wine stains usually don't run in families, but I myself did get my port wine stain from my grandpa on my dad's side, I believe I was told, but I've never seen it myself. So maybe, maybe not, I don't know exactly but it's very rare for them to run in families. These birthmarks can be really small or they can be really big. Most of the time they are on the face or the limbs, but um, they can be anywhere on the body. But the most common place you see them is on the face. I don't have one on my face, but um, a lot of people do. And if you guys have any other questions about port wine stains, feel free to leave them in the comments. I did do a little question thing in my story on Instagram so that you guys could leave questions for this video, but I think I only got two of them. And one of them was what causes these, which I already explained. And the other one was why do I like my babies to have them? I love that they have port wine stains because, I don't know, I kind of feel like it makes them more like me in a way. So little Laylin here, if you've ever seen a video about her story and why I have certain details put into her that I did, because she was a custom order. Both of these babies were created by Mandy Hannon of Chrysalis Dolls, by the way. She does amazing work, as you can see. And um, Laylin was the first baby she ever painted a port wine stain on. Um, and she did a fantastic job. She did amazing. I could not have even done that good or imagined um, how beautiful and how realistic it looks. 
No one even questions it when I take her out in public, and if they think that she's a real baby, they see it and they think that it's a real birthmark. I just love my babies to be unique, and giving them these birthmarks makes them unique. Also, I feel like sharing them on my channel, you know, it shows other people that, like, other people are different. Everybody's different, and this is just one small thing that makes some people different from others. I hope I explained that correctly. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys the birthmarks on these little girls now. So here's Faith, and she has one up here on her head, under her hair a little bit. She also has one here. And I did request um, that this little girl have a few port wine stain birthmarks, but the artist put quite a few on her, which I actually really love. It makes her very unique. All right, and then she has one here, which is a pretty big one. She has some on her legs, of course. I believe she has two on this leg, and one of them I just noticed when I was looking for where they are, so I could quickly show you guys. But there's one little one, and then she has one there. And this leg, it's right there. I love it. <laughs> And then, little Laylin has one that's in the shape of a heart. It's beautiful. I love my girls with these birthmarks. They're so beautiful. I think that that's it for this video. So, do you guys know anyone or do you yourself have port wine stains? I'm just curious to see how many of my subscribers actually, um, have seen them or know about them or have one themselves. Like I said, if you have any questions about port wine stains at all, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching everyone.